Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit lead templates inside Photopy. Photopy.com is a great free web-based graphic editor that opens Photoshop files. So I'm going to show you now how to edit the templates. So first, uh, once you go to Photopy.com, you will see this menu and just click Open from Computer. I'm going to choose the PSD file for Blog Marketing Template. And it's going now to load the template with all the, all the layers. All right, so here we go. And uh, now let's uh, select the Move tool. Just press the Z on your keyboard and we can make it bigger. Or we can also make it smaller by selecting at the top the minus to make it smaller. In order to edit the text, you have to select the Type tool. It's on the left right here or you can press T on your keyboard and now you just double click on the text and just type what you want. If you want to accept the changes just click the check mark at the top. You can also change the size by clicking on this arrow and just moving it down for example. Let's do like this and let's change the color so just click on the color and I'm going to change it to the green color and click OK. So you can see it's very simple to do these kind of changes. If you want to move the layer, just uh, select the Move tool on the left or just press the V on your keyboard. And now you can actually move the layers. Make sure you have the Auto Select selected so it's easier to select the layers like this. So you can see we can easily move the layers like this. Okay. On the right you will see the history. If you want to go back, for example, to the previous steps you did, you can you can do this like this. And also there's a layers window with the actual layers. So if you press this the eye icon, you can make the layers visible or invisible. You can see we got the title, we got the subtitle, it's gonna be this, we got the author and the illustration. So these are the folders that organize the layers. So you can play around, you can, you, know, you can move some of these elements, you can change the colors, you can also change the fonts. So let me now select the Move tool again and uh, let's change to a different font. So I'm going to select this arrow and now we have the list of all the fonts available on Photopea. So you can see we got a lot of different fonts to choose from. So you can see you can easily customize these templates however you want. There's a lot of you know playing, a lot of freedom in customization. You can see we can change the size, color, we can change position, and so on. Now the next thing I would like to show you is that that Philippi does not have all the fonts. So uh, in case they don't have the fonts, this in the template, it's very easy to add it in the app. So for example, the superstar. Uh, the font salt is not installed in Photopea. So in order to install it, so we can edit the text, uh, you have to go to the txt, txt file, that's a fonts.txt, and that's the file where for each template I basically found uh, the download links to the fonts. So you have to download the fonts first on your computer and you will see something like this. For example, that's a Miller and Salt font duo. And you will see different files. So mostly TTF or OTF are good ones. So I'm going to use the OTF, OTF file and just drag and drop into the window. Now you will see that the font is installed. So when I'm going to select this layer, you can see that now I can type. So you can see it's that simple. Just drag and drop the font. You, you just download on your computer, drag it in the, in the app, and now you can edit now you can edit uh, the template using the font that is actually in the template. So let's move, let's select the move tool and just let's move it up. So that's a basic introduction how you can edit and customize the template. Of course, we can, we can go more in depth, but in this video, I just wanted to show you how easy and simple it is, and it doesn't require a lot of skills, and uh, it may require some learning curve to learn this app. But uh, it's definitely worth it, I think. Uh, it's a free app and you can use it for different projects. And once you get grasps of it, it's a really nice tool. All right, so once we have the design done, how to export it? So I'm going to go to the File, 
save as and now we can save to a different format like PNG, JPEG, SVG, GIF, PDF and even more. So I'm going to choose PNG. Now we can select the width and the height in pixels or in percentage. We can also change the quality, that's the compression level, so the lower the quality the, the less the size of the file but also the quality may go down. So let's just do 100% for this one and just click Save. Once it's done you will see that we can now open it and you can see that's our design, the PNG file that you can use for your book or ebook cover or a course cover. So that's how simple it is to use Photopea. So definitely check it out and it's a really nice tool and uh, you can edit the templates basically just using Photopea. You don't need to have Photoshop so it's a, it's a really nice free alternative to Photoshop.